Beautiful, Tom. I, I, I had to do that because it, it, it's, it's very hard when you arrive somewhere, how you're going to get a key in, into a landscape. Quite often I've driven a couple of hundred miles and I have a very short period of time to find this truffle. I, I very much depend on the farmer and, and a certain amount of geographical knowledge from him that it's me and the dog and, and, and a bit of luck. But uh, if you don't live somewhere, you, you can't roll out of bed and walk to that place. And this is what I've sort of created and it's what I enjoy for the moment. And uh, I brought with me some truffle. They're in a sack. I think Mark's got them. And I, I dug them yesterday. Perhaps, Mark, I, 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 <laughs> if I could just have one of the truffle. It's interesting. I've been walking around with the truffle. They, they give off a great perfume. And this is the perfume which, which gets me, the dog, gets us all excited. And this was on the downs yesterday. And it's a... It's got a nice weight to it, which means it's a, good, it's a good truffle. But you won't be able to see, but there are various holes in it. And because of the warm weather, you get a certain, um, you get a certain truffle fly that, 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 that is going to lay a lava, and it, and it will decimate them quite quickly. But this is a fine, this is the best of England. This is an uncinatum. This is um, probably a princess to, the, to, to France's uh, Perigord, their queen. And we should all be proud of this. Our, our truffle is very good. The Italians say they have the best truffle. The French think they have the best truffle. But we have something very special. And uh, I, I hope we will treasure that. I was fascinated when I, yes. when I was introduced to you. Tell me about um, the history of truffle hunting. You are one of few, uh, maybe a couple yes. of dozen in the country. But 200 years ago, for example, did every... Um, landowner hunt for truffles? Did it, was it a common practice which we've forgotten? I, I think it was very common practice and I think what, what was um, so important, it was tied up in forestry and I think you had two truffle hunters, you had the forester who, who, who was, it was a seasonal occupation for him and it would just be part of the course that they would have taken a tenancy on some woodland and the forests in those days were full of people. They're, they're desolate now, they're empty, and they're, it's, it's a dark place. But in those days, they were like villages. And I will stress that there are more truffle in suburbia today than there are in the deep, dark forest. Because in the medieval world, the forest was incredibly, probably well kept, full of people with a very light footprint. And this was just perfect for the truffle. It loves the sunlight, and it, it, it just sort of you couldn't help coming up underneath you, so you'd feel it coming up. In fact, the Roman name truffle is, is just a swelling in the earth. That's where it comes from. So, yes, in England it would have been everywhere. There was also the pie man, the truffle pie man, and I think they were the people who made lots of money. They were equivalent, sort of, to modern-day bankers. They often came <laughs> from Spain or so, they came from somewhere else where they understood about the truffle. Um, in England, it's, we don't necessarily have the fire inside us, although we have great cuisine that the other countries have. So the pie maker, he would travel around England with a dog very similar to Valentino, and uh, we find records of this. They're, they're sort of squirmy, woolly dogs that look like s small sheep. And the, he would find a good place, and he would set up shop, and, 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 and he would have his, his, his oven, and he would bake his pies and sell them. So. And what, what was it? There was meat and truffle? Yeah, or? I think it, well, I wasn't, I, 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 I don't. But there are records? Or there, are there aren't many records. The whole world of truffle is, 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 is all over the world. It, it, for, for, for folk reasons, has always been in secrecy. Whenever I find truffle, I, I, I can't disclose. I have great, exciting adventures. <laughs> and I never can tell anybody, hardly my wife. <laughs> so, and otherwise, I'm never invited anywhere else. And it, the truffle drives people... <laughs> crazy and, it, and, and it's, it, it is valuable but it drives us mad you know I've walked around with that little sack and I know that the perfumes in the building mm. and and I suspect there was a truffle hunter here before the, you know, at some stage yeah. you know there would have been a hunt here uh, uh, when the kings of England were, were going backwards and forwards to France you know, they would have been taking their dogs and I think in the Bay of Tapestry there's a nice little picture of Harold of a little dog it wasn't a pig dog so I'm sure it was probably a truffle dog wow. so the, the truffle, I expect the Celts, and I expect even before the Celts, the woolly mammoths were eating them. You know, the, the, the forest is full of them, and they are for everybody. They're for the squirrel or the badger. They're, it's to make their marriage happy. It's for their love life. You know, the truffle 
is hunting us. I am the hunted. <laughs> no. We, we are. We are. We are the hunted. We pretend we're the hunter, but we're not. You know. And one of the interesting things is that the, the, um, the, the, the truffle can't survive without us eating it. And it, it's, its fruit is it's just like an apple, upside down. It's, it's in the ground on this mycelium. And this mycelium is essential for the tree. It, it gives the tree these wonderful sort of minerals, and it steals from the tree the sugar. And these minerals enable the, the leaves and the tree to go tall and strong. Now, I'm just talking about the truffle that I know, but for the parts of England where there are no truffle, because the ground is not right, there'll be other fungi doing the same thing. So I know, I understand that the tree doesn't give us all our oxygen, but it's cleaning the air for us. So they're like underground trees, these mycelium. So they're so important to us. And the truffle is a fruit which is there to be shared. Tom, a couple of other questions. What, what are the, ar around here, yes. for example, if you arrived and you yes. haven't been to the South Downs and you were walking around Ditchling yes. or one of the villages around here, um, where would you start off if you hadn't been to that area before? What would you do at four o'clock in the morning, apart from blow your trumpet? Yes. <laughs> I, uh, yes, I... Well... Uh, I... I, 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 I <laughs> Yes, I can't remember the question now. But I, I, <laughs> how, I, how do you start the hunt? How do you, where, how, yes. What do you look for? Yes. Are well, you looking for a river? Are you looking yes. for a stream? Are you looking yes. for watercress? Are you looking yes. for mushrooms? What well, it, what well I would say in the early days of the truffle hunting, turning up places, people thought I was completely mad. And uh, I, really? I used to sing them a song on my lad, and they would confirm that I was mad. And yes, they were on yeah. the verge of calling yeah. the police. Yeah. But, 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 it, but it has sort of transferred from there to something more successful. Ha, ha, nearly here, I, I pass through a hunting ground where I hunt regularly. I'm commissioned on a regular basis. And that is a very interesting place because there was a documented truffle hunter. Where is that? Where? Oh, the, no, sorry. Yes. No, no, no. I, <laughs> I never know where I am, yeah, so yeah. I'm all quite safe. And, 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 and this, and if this, only Valentino could talk, right? Yes. Well, no. Well, well, no this supported a truffle hunter, and, and, and it, it was interesting. But the canopy has changed. The forest is now dark and dense, and there is machinery being used to take it out. And because of the price of firewood, they are coppicing it. <clears throat> and I've been hunting there for four years uh, with a head forester, and we've just been interested to see whether the truffle would come back. And what's interesting is they are coming back. The truffle is it England, and it's not affected by the environment in the sense of weather, but it's just affected by one thing, and that is the forest. And our forest has changed because the days are gone when everybody's cooking everything. We would have gone home, and everything we would have eaten and heated ourselves with was going to be the, the, the kindling wood in, in the fire, yeah. and we couldn't live without that. So we were stealing wood from the forest. So, so the forest has changed, and so this particular hunting ground is very interesting there coppicing it and the truffle is coming back. Great. Okay, so the, the final question, just to illustrate to the audience, how much uh, truffle in value is left in the yes. ground every year that is not found by your Well, your I, I knew you'd ask me this question. Yeah. And, and, and I, 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 I must say that I'm very much with the conservation side. There's 15 I, people I, in I, the uh, middle trying to yes. leave at the moment yes, to yes, buy a dog. Yes. Well, I, I think if we dug all the truffle underground, we would go crazy with the perfume. It, it, Julius Caesar was complaining that they were sort of uh, they were no, how much it in to money? Not, society. Not the romance. How much in money? Tell us. We'd all go mad. <laughs> We'd go crazy. <laughs> the squirrels and everybody, everybody would lose out. It would be a disaster. Yeah, no, that's true. I just <laughs> we we would have no passion. <laughs> we, we can't. We, we, this we, session is about passion. I was just it trying is, it to is. narrow but, but it down. But I, I tell you what it is, it's not the money. No, I, 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 I'm, a good, I'm very good at finding them. And I have a strange thing which upsets my whole family is I don't sell the truffle. I, I, I am employed by people to find it and they commercially can sell it and I help them establish it. But what's exciting is you find these tribes of truffle. They are like cities underground. Sometimes there's no fruit but you hear the drum of the mycelium. And they're like lost cities, and you encourage them a bit of coppicing, and, and, and they're growing, and they're there, and, they're, and we need them. Yes, they're valuable. We do, of course. Uh, but, but, but we couldn't eat the amount of truffle that we could dig up. We just couldn't, and, and we'd end up going crazy. Thank you. I mean, that's what yeah. we wanted to... <laughs> that's what we wanted to know, yeah. was that there's lots out there. Okay. Yeah. Tom Lywood, yeah. thank you very much thank indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>